hey guys welcome back to the channel so in our last video we unwrapped this blacksmith hammer and today we are going to import our mesh in substance painter and texture it so i'm going to create a new document and uh, import my low poly model here take the resolution to 048 and normal map format opengl leave rest of the settings to default and click ok now to bake all those high poly detail uh, onto this low poly mesh i'm going to go in texture set settings and uh, scroll down you'll see this bake mesh maps increase the resolution and uh, import your high poly mesh here i'm going to increase this uh, max frontal and rear distance all the way to one and one and uh, change the anti-aliasing to four by four deselect id because we are not using any material id for this and click on this bake selected texture so our maps are baked click ok and we have all the details here on our low poly model and it looks good so we are going to start by texturing this hammer head and for that i'm going to use a smart material so let's go to your smart materials and uh, scroll down and let's try this steel painted worn drop it here in your layers and uh, open this material go to your paint layer and uh, change the color of your paint i'm going to change it to something like this this looks good and i'm also going to change the projection to tri planner of every layer in this material so let's change it to tri planner also the fill okay so we are pretty much done with this hammer head uh, what you can do is you can uh, open this and uh, let's increase the damage here so i'm going to open this mask editor and uh, increase the balance a little decrease the contrast and it looks fine so let's go to your layers and here add a black mask and take polygon fill go to object mode and select this object and now we are going to texture this handle so for this let's go back to your materials and select this border off drop it here and uh, change the projection of this material to tri planner and uh, rotate it to 90 increase the scale let's take two and uh, i'm going to make it a little something like this and uh, let's create a duplicate and this one a little lighter Add a black mask to this layer and add a generator and uh, let's select this curvature increase the balance just a little bit and contrast and i'm going to select both of them and put them in a group 
and uh, add a black mask go to polygon fill and uh, select this handle and uh, you can always go back to this wood rough material and uh, change its color to something like this and this one a little darker let's select this and uh, this looks fine and uh, this one a little like this and uh, now let's add a uh, dirt material so for that I'm going to take this rust fine and drop it on the top of these two layers and change the projection to tri planner increase the scale to 8 and uh, disable this height channel and uh, change its color let's take this for now and uh, add a black mask add a generator and select this dirt decrease the contrast and uh, turn on this tri planner increase the dirt level and uh, now we can change its color something like this and uh, go to this dirt add a uh, paint Change the blending mode to linear dodge and take a brush. Let's take this dirt brush, increase the scale, press X to remove some of this dirt off this hammer. So our hammer is done let's try to render this So our hammer looks good and I'm going to finish this video here so what you can do is you can go to the file and export these textures so select your folder where you want to export these textures so I'm going to export them into this folder and uh, take the output template to document channels plus normal plus AO with no alpha file type to png and size to 4k and click on this export 